Hi, I'm Lisa Allen with The Deal Report. Today we have Paul Leand, Managing Director and CEO of AMA Capital Partners in the studio with us to talk about restructuring in the shipping industry. So Paul, the shipping industry has seen a lot of distress since the financial crisis. Just last week, TMT USA and STX Pan Ocean filed for bankruptcy, and Excel Maritime is soliciting votes for a prepackaged Chapter 11 now. Why was the shipping industry hit so hard? Well, the industry is coming off of historic highs in terms of asset values and, and, uh, and freight rates. In, in an industry where a ship uh, over the last 25 years would have earned something along the lines of $20,000 a day, in 2006, 2007, 2008, those ships were earning about $200,000 a day, and the, values, and the values were commensurate. So as, as banks were lending into the industry, even, though, even if they were trying to lend on a conservative basis, the absolute amounts were still relatively high. And as the market came off those highs, the banks found themselves with, with loan-to-values that were exceeding the assets. Mm, yeah. And now these companies that are in trouble, you know, we see some of them filing for bankruptcy while others reach solutions out of court with their lenders. Which outcome is more likely in the shipping industry? Well, the single biggest determinant in shipping, whether or not a company is going to end up in a bankruptcy court or doing a bilateral or, or a consensual deal with the banks, is the presence of a bond within the capital structure. When you look back at the time period of, of 90, 1997 and 1999, when there were a number of high yield bonds issued in the shipping industry, what the ship owners and the sponsors figured out is they didn't like those change events in their capital structures. And so as they move forward into, into the, that, that time period of 2005, 6, 7, 8, you know, what they did is instead of going to the public bond markets, they went to the public stock markets. And so their capital structures tended to be equity and bank debt. Uh, and neither the banks nor the ba nor, nor the shipping companies really want to really want to leave their fate into the hands of a, a of a bankruptcy court. So the 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 companies that that have bonds in their capital structures, where you have people that that, that buy into these these uh, bonds at distressed levels, are the ones that really force you into a into a court a, a, a court uh, process or a court restructuring. Now the thing that's changing in this market is you're now starting to see these funds finally trade into bank debt or buy bank debt, and, and so it'll be interesting to see what happens going forward. Yes, and more on that, how is this sustained distress affecting the financing for the shipping industry? <laughs> uh, well, look, the, the, the shipping industry has been dealing with this now for, for a number of years, and, and to give you some numbers, uh, the single largest lender to the shipping industry as a community was really the German, the German banking community. And I think the numbers are today are, are, are along the lines of there's roughly $130 billion of, of bank loans within the German shipping community. Um, roughly half of those have loan to values which exceed uh, 100%, meaning that the loans are in excess of the asset values. Uh, on average, uh, not on average, but, 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 but uh, overall, the, that, that community has only taken 2 to 3% reserves uh, on that loan, on that loan portfolio, so so these are these are problems that these these banks have continued to live with for a long period of time, and obviously has constrained capital in the market. And so what you've started to see is hedge funds or other non-traditional lenders starting to move into the uh, move into the uh, uh, the, the, lend, the the lending arena in shipping um, uh, to to fill those to fill those capital needs. Yeah, that has been an interesting trend. Um, now, in terms of what you're seeing in your work at AMA Capital, are there any other re recent trends you'd like to point out? Yeah, well, first of all, I think the interest, the interest in shipping by the hedge funds and, 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 uh, and private equity community is unprecedented. You have more people who are looking at this industry, more people who spend time actually doing homework, understanding the assets, understanding the business that they like, and picking people that they want to support in going forward in this industry. Having said that, I think one of the more interesting trends to look at is if you look at your historic strategic owners, and, and if you look at the John Fredericksons of the world, or the Scorpios who, are, who, are, who have been out there in, in the forefront, uh, very few of these strategic owners are actually buying a lot or doing a lot of secondhand uh, uh, transactions. Most of those second, most of the transactions related to secondhand tonnage. Most of the capital coming into the market is coming in from hedge funds and, and private equity, which uh, which we find is a, a very interesting trend, and we'll see how that works out in the end. Yeah, it will be interesting to see how that works. Well, thank you so much for coming in to talk to us. This has been the Deal Report. Thanks for watching.